Something strange is happening with the Earth's magnetic field, and NASA is concerned. Between South America and Southwest Africa, a massive region of reduced magnetic intensity is spreading, causing a bizarre crater in the Earth's magnetic field that is splitting and increasing. Scientists have been baffled by the South Atlantic anomaly for many years. But what causes this wide swath of reduced intensity in the Earth's magnetic field? Why is NASA tracking the anomaly so critical? Finally, and most crucially, does the South Atlantic anomaly have any impact on Earth's life? The Earth's magnetic field works as a shield, deflecting high-energy particles emitted by the Sun and promoting life on our planet. Without this field, Earth could resemble modern-day Mars. The geodynamo process is important in the formation of the Earth's magnetic field, since it incorporates various mechanisms and current sources. A planet must meet specific parameters in order to generate a magnetic field via the geodynamo process. It must revolve quickly, contain conductive fluid, and have an internal energy source that generates convection currents within the liquid core. Fortunately, Earth meets all of these requirements. Within the outer core of the Earth, thousands of kilometers beneath the surface, is an ocean of molten iron. The liquid iron travels as the planet rotates, generating electrical currents that form Earth's magnetic field. This field then produces new electric currents, which in turn generate additional magnetic fields, resulting in a self-sustaining loop of electric currents and magnetic fields in the core. The magnetic field generated on Earth, however, is not always uniform. The African Large Low Shear Velocity Province is a massive reservoir of solid rock located around 2,900 kilometers beneath the African continent. The South Atlantic anomaly is caused by this unknown structure. LLSVPs, or Large Low Shear Velocity Provinces, are huge structures deep under the Earth's mantle that can stretch thousands of kilometers. Their name is derived from the fact that seismic waves, notably shear waves, travel more slowly through these regions than the surrounding mantle material. This is due to variations in temperature, composition, or a mix of the two. Consider Earth as a layered sphere to better understand LLSVPs. The core, which is located in the middle, is surrounded by the mantle, which is encased by the crust. The mantle is a large expanse of heated, semi-solid rock that flows at a glacial pace. Seismic waves produced by earthquakes or other occurrences pass across these strata, supplying scientists with important information about the Earth's interior. LLSVPs are discovered near the Earth's outer core at the base of the mantle. There are two very massive structures, one beneath Africa, known as the African LLSVP, and one beneath the Pacific Ocean, known as the Pacific LLSVP. These structures are crucial because they can influence material migration inside the mantle, influencing processes like mantle convection and plate tectonics. The African province is nearly tens of millions of years old and spans thousands of kilometers with tight borders. It is thought that because this thick structure is located between the hot liquid iron of Earth's outer core and the stiffer, cooler mantle, it can disrupt the molten iron's motion, which helps generate the Earth's magnetic field. These rocks can eventually cause a severe decrease in field intensity. Furthermore, the velocity of liquid iron in the outer core causes Earth's magnetic axis to tilt 11 degrees relative to its rotating axis. Unlike the geographic poles, the Earth's magnetic poles are not fixed and move over time. Scientists believe that the magnetic axis tilt leads to the weakening of the magnetic field, which could explain the South Atlantic anomaly. Another factor that could account for this low magnetic field zone is the Sun's release of charged particles and plasma. 
When these solar elements collide with Earth's magnetosphere, they become confined within two donut-shaped belts known as the Van Allen belts that circle the globe. These belts contain the particles, causing them to bounce back and forth between the poles along the Earth's magnetic field lines. The innermost belt begins roughly 400 miles 645 kilometers, from the Earth's surface. This usually aids in keeping charged particles away from our planet and its orbiting satellites. Nonetheless, during exceptionally severe solar storms, the Van Allen belts can become highly energetic, causing the magnetic field to distort and charged particles to enter the atmosphere. According to one study, under such conditions, a localized field with reversed polarity may intensify within the South Atlantic anomaly region, resulting in an exceedingly weakened field compared to neighboring locations. At the moment, there are various possible theories for Earth's magnetic field anomaly. Many mysteries, though, remain. For example, a 2016 study revealed that the South Atlantic anomaly is steadily moving northwesterly. Furthermore, the anomaly is not only traveling, but it is also dividing in two. In 2020, European Space Agency satellite data indicated that the South Atlantic anomaly is separating into two independent cells, each reflecting a discrete center of low magnetic intensity. While the South Atlantic Anomaly SAA, does not appear to have a large influence on life on Earth, it does provide a considerable problem to satellites and spacecraft traveling through the impacted regions. Because of the reduced magnetic field in this area, these electronics are more exposed to charged particles from the Sun than usual, which could result in severe short circuits and failures. Although the International Space Station's interior and passengers are well protected, certain equipment located outside the ISS, such as the Global Ecosystem Dynamics Investigation Jedi, mission, may experience interruptions. The South Atlantic Anomaly, for example, is known to cause significant interference with Jedi detectors. Because these incidents can result in significant data loss and lasting damage to critical components, operators must routinely shut down spacecraft systems before entering the anomaly zone. As a result, it is critical to keep a constant eye on the anomaly. The South Atlantic anomaly is not a new phenomenon. According to some scientists, it could be a recurrent magnetic event that has been affecting Earth for nearly 11 million years. This means that the SAA is most likely unrelated to the flipping of the Earth's magnetic field, which can happen as frequently as every 10,000 years or as infrequently as every 50 million years or more. Despite this, much remains unknown about the phenomenon. Monitoring the SAA is critical given the huge and unexpected changes it is currently undergoing. NASA is actively doing so, keeping a close eye on this fascinating event. Astronomers just discovered an explanation for the strange behavior of Oumuamua, the solar system's first known interstellar visitor. Alright everyone here is where the video ends, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like share and subscribe.